Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I'm here to talk to you about my daughter, Madeline Stewart, international model. I hope it opens your eyes and challenges your perspective on just what a person can achieve if they're encouraged and their dreams are followed. For the past 27 months, Madeline has been traveling the world modeling and having an amazing time. We have not long left the States when Madeline received the Quincy Jones Exceptional Advocacy Award, which followed on from our September trip, where she walked in her fifth season at New York Fashion Week and released a second collection of her clothing label. It's been a long journey since Madeline first told me she wanted to be a model, but I couldn't be prouder of all of her achievements. Please, let's take a look at the journey so far. So, I can see by your faces that some of you are shocked. And whilst I know why you are shocked, it still sometimes surprises me. Yes, Madeline has Down syndrome. Some of you may have known this. Some may find it surprising, ridiculous, inspirational, game-changing. I mean, I've heard it all. But why so unexpected? I mean, modelling is just about showcasing clothes on a particular body. And I think she does it quite well. Makes me wonder why we as society feel we have the right to judge. We put people in boxes and label them with the way we think they should be. Society puts people with disabilities in a box and labels it with all their limitations. Isn't it time we change that? But I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's go back to the beginning to where it all began. I was a very naive 26 year old, raised in a world completely void of any form of disability when I gave birth to my daughter. When the doctor told me she had Down syndrome, I had no clue what he was talking about. He then went on to tell me the dire situation he felt I was in. Your daughter will never amount to anything. Your daughter will only ever mature mentally to a seven-year-old. If you decide to have more children, they will be detrimentally affected by this child. You have options. I had options. This was supposed to be the most magical day of my life, and this doctor had turned it into a nightmare. Could you imagine how I felt? My mum was sitting on the bed next to me crying. And when my dad came in, he basically said the same thing as the doctor did. I was shocked. I mean, this was my own father. How could he be saying those things about his grandchild? I think that's when my mind shut down. I asked everyone to leave, and I told the nurses I'd have no more visitors. The next few days were a bit of a blur. But then I regrouped. I always do. I mean, my baby girl needed me, and there was no way I was going to let her down. So the first thing I needed to do was to educate myself, and that is what I did. So yes, Madeline has Down syndrome, trisomy 21 to be exact. Trisomy 21 is a genetic condition caused by an extra chromosome called the 21st chromosome. Having this extra chromosome causes an array of problems different for every person. For Madeline, the difficulties started almost immediately. At day 10, she went into heart failure. At week 12, she underwent heart surgery to correct an ASD and a VSD. Even today, she has three holes in her heart and a leaky valve. But the heart issues are not the only issue. She also has problems with her teeth. Madeline has nine adult teeth missing, which means that when her baby teeth grind down, she'll have to have implants or similar. 
To slow this process, they have a clear resin attached to them so they don't grind away as quickly. But Madeline's biggest issue has been communication. Even though Madeline can understand everything, people find it very hard to understand her because of her limited speech. This can be very frustrating for Madeline. And unfortunately, people seem to just disregard her because of it. As you can see, there have been many obstacles during our journey, but you live, you learn, and you grow. And I think I've become a better person because of my daughter. I always say I created Madeline, and then Madeline created me. It's not the big house or the fancy car that will make you happy, but it's the people you touch and the lives that you changed. When Madeline went viral, I wasn't completely surprised. I mean, I was, but I always thought she would change the world the way she, she changed me. 14 months before she went viral, you would never have picked her for a model. One of the biggest issues people with Down syndrome have is their weight. This can be caused by an underactive thyroid and love for food. Madeline was at dance, it was hot, and she ran out to me crying. I said, darling, what's the matter? Can't you keep up with your friends? And she said, no. I said, well, if you want to keep up with your friends, you're going to have to get fitter. And that is what she did. McDonald's was replaced with salads. She ate smaller portions and cut out all junk food. She also started seeing a personal trainer. Not long after that, I took Madeline to a fashion show. As I walked in the door, I thought, Madeline's going to love this. And she did. Within minutes of seeing the models on the catwalk, she turned to me and said, Mum, me model. I, of course, am one of those parents that believe that if your child has a dream, you make it a reality. I said, sweetheart, models are super fit. They work super hard. And if you want to be a model, you'll have to be super fit also. And that's exactly what she did. Over the next seven months, Madeline lost a further seven kilos, taking her weight loss journey to a total of 20 kilos. It was at this moment I thought, this is it. I need to see if Madeline enjoys modelling the way she thinks she'll enjoy modelling. So I organised a photo shoot. Clearly it went well, and I'd love to tell you all about it, but little Miss Independent kicked me out and made me wait in the waiting room. <laughs> a week later, they gave me the call. I had to come in and see the photos, and I was floored. I mean, every parent sees their child through rose-coloured glasses. But what I was seeing was not this chubby little girl from a year before. It was this beautiful young woman with flowing red hair and abs to boot. The gym was really paying off. I talked to some friends of mine in the PR industry, and they said the best thing to do was to start a public figure Facebook page so the world could meet Madeline. So that's what I did. I uploaded some before and after photos to encourage people to become fitter. Well, the photo went completely viral. Within two days, it was seen by over 7 million people. With a week, it was published in countries all over the world. Within two weeks, we had phone calls coming in to say they wanted Madeline to model, and television stations wanted to do interviews. Within that first month, Madeline got her first invitation to walk at New York Fashion Week. I knew this was going to be a really big deal, so I sorted through the offers, and we decided to go with a company that worked in association with the Christopher and Dana Reeves Foundation. It was important to me that her journey meant something. Well, that first New York Fashion Week, those first six days was the most hectic six days of my life. We did 33 interviews in three days, not to mention the rehearsals, the fittings, the catwalks, the after parties. By Christmas, Madeline was book solid for the following year. But even though she was doing so well, I was still worried for a long time that Madeline would be a two-second internet sensation. The Down syndrome was just the next phase. But I can safely say she's here to stay. There has never been a time in history that advocacy has been so prevalent. And we are so proud to advocate for that. I am so proud of the professional my daughter has become. I never pictured her this way, but she works eight hours a day, weeks on end. And unfortunately, people still judge her by all the things they think she can't do, even though she smashed so many barriers and opened so many doors. They just don't think she's capable. And even though she's come so far, there's still so many obstacles. Madeline cannot secure work on television. People will not even consider her for non-speaking roles because of her limited speech. I think this has been the hardest thing for me during my journey. Watching my daughter be rejected, judged, completely disregarded. 
I have fought so hard, purely because she cannot. Especially when we go overseas to other countries, where I walk a line between educating people and protecting my baby. One country that comes to mind was the Ukraine. We went there to do a TV interview, and the TV host kept referring to Down syndrome as a sickness, and my daughter's popularity that's similar to years ago of the circus freaks. Well, that didn't go down well. I pulled him up on air and told him it was completely wrong and completely offensive. When we travelled to Uganda, they believed that children with Down syndrome are a curse that will cause bad luck for the community. So many children are killed at birth. We were there for 10 days, we travelled, we visited schools, and during that 10 days, 50 families came out of hiding. Purely because they met Madeline, they realised that Down syndrome isn't a curse. Down syndrome is a disability, it's perfectly normal. Madeline is a very capable young woman, and over the past two years, we've met many capable people that are turning the stigmas relating to disability on their head. But I won't lie and tell you it's been easy. Supporting Madeline's career has been the hardest thing in my life. Facing rejection daily is exhausting. And people say, why do it? And they're correct. I could just walk away. I could ask Madeline to give up on her dream. But everyone needs to be supported. Everyone here was supported by someone to get you where you are today. People with disabilities are just as capable and have just as much potential as you and I, but we need to step up. We need to be more inclusive. We need to be more compassionate. We need to stop judging people because of all the things we think they can't do. We need to be someone's champion. I mean, you have the opportunity to be someone's hero, to really change someone's life. Wouldn't that be amazing? My daughter has come so far, and over the next five years, I hope we can help change the world so everyone out there with different abilities are treated equally. I mean, it was 21 years ago that the doctor told me that my daughter would never amount to anything, but here she is, happy, proud, and content. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present Madeline Stewart. In the last... Thank you, darling. In the last two and a half years, Madeline has travelled the world modelling. She advocates for disability. Sorry. A bit of a princess. She is the first model with Down syndrome to be the face of a cosmetic company. She is the only person in history with an intellectual disability to get a working visa in the United States. She is the first model, adult model, with Down syndrome to walk in the Middle East at runway Dubai in Asia at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week China, in Paris, in Russia at Astraham Fashion Week. She has been published in over 150 countries around the world and has been named the number one game changer in Forbes. She's been published in many magazines and on the front of many magazines. She's currently in the middle of doing her own documentary and has almost a million followers on social media. Madeline Stewart, she's loud, she's proud, and she's here to stay.